Hey everybody, Jim from Zeppelin here. Design tools like Figma, Sketch, and Adobe XD use auto layout and constraint settings to specify element direction, alignment and distribution, spacing, and even gap values across layers. Here is a Figma project that my designer just sent over to me and notice that she spent a ton of time defining auto layout and constraint settings on all these screens. The problem is that as a developer, I usually spend a lot more time clicking around different layers in Figma to find all these settings, and more often than not, my designer has to create workarounds or have meetings to show me where to find these layout settings. We want to change this, and now, when your designer is applying auto layout or constraint settings within layers in a design tool, Zeppelin extends these settings to developers with what we call layout specs. Let's check it out. I'm going to start by exporting this to Zeppelin by uh, selecting all these screens here, right click, going down to Zeppelin, and export to my travel web project. Quick note, if your screens were published before June 2021, you'll need to republish your designs to Zeppelin first in order to enable layout specs. Let's click into this guide screen. As a developer, I can select a parent or child layer here. You may know it as containers and units, and I can visually see the constraint settings with the related information that I need to start coding. When I click on this date picker, notice that Zeppelin automatically highlighted this as the parent layer. On the right hand side, Zeppelin lets me know that this has a fixed width and height. Now, when a developer inspects a layer with constraints supplied, Zeppelin will display information about how it should behave if changes are made to its parent layer. If the layer has auto height or auto width properties on some of its sides, Zeppelin animates the visualization under the constraints widget on the right. Notice when I click on this book a trip button, I can hover over the widget and Zeppelin provides me with this animation to help me better understand the relationship of this constraint. After you set up auto layout in Figma and publish your designs to Zeppelin, you can view the specs using the layout widget on the right panel. Let's go over to the profile screen and click on these guide cards. On the right panel, you can see that Zeppelin automatically shows the children's direction using the gray columns. Alignment and distribution of the child layers are also available under the layout widget. Also, I can hover over the spacing or padding area on the layout widget and Zeppelin will highlight the relevant area here on the actual screen and tell me, hey, the gap value here is 48 pixels. As a developer, I'm super happy that I don't have to go back into a design tool and start clicking around aimlessly. Zeppelin provides all the layout specs that I need in one spot. Also, Zeppelin generates precise code snippets for auto layout settings using extensions. I'm using the CSS extension here and Zeppelin generates flex properties on web projects. For Android, the XML extension generates linear layout on Android projects and we're launching Swift and Objective-C code snippets very soon. So to wrap this up, designers can automate handoffs for auto layout and constraints using layout specs in Zeppelin which means they can actually focus on designing stuff and be rest assured that Zeppelin will pass on all the relevant settings that were applied in the design tool. Developers can save time and clearly understand how layers are supposed to behave in a responsive design. No more switching between tools or getting confused on exactly what to build. As a developer, you know that Zeppelin is your single source of truth to find exactly what you need in one spot. We'd love to hear what you think about layout specs. Let us know in the comments below.